Have you ever said, oh, I should be sewing right now? You're wasting time scrolling through social media. Meanwhile, there is some delicious fabric in the next room that you could be working on. So how do you go from your stagnant situation to sewing happily humming along? First of all, remove this whole should statement. That gives you a layer of guilt that is just not necessary. And then you have to come back from that emotion, that mindset. So let's get on to like, say, so blah, blah, blah. So let's say you've got an Easter dress to make and now it's March. Don't talk all about, oh, I should be sewing Easter dresses, but I'm going to go out to lunch with Mary. That puts unnecessary guilt on that whole situation. First of all, if doing the first thing gets you moving and then that lands you in your sewing machine, then an hour to lunch with Mary is well worth it. But remove the whole should because you're going to do the first thing and then you're going to sew. So there should be no should involved in it, right? Because why? Why should you? Why does it matter? If it doesn't matter, then you shouldn't do it. If it does matter, then you're going to just do it. No, sh no should involved. Remind yourself of what's going on and what is at stake at the bigger picture. Why do you want to make these dresses? To see your kiddos in precious creations? Or are you making Easter dresses for you? Because you belong on the totem pole too. That's right. That's why you are doing it. No should involved. You're just going to do it because of your why. On the flip side, you can picture what happens if you don't achieve these dresses and use failure as a motivator. Failure is a great motivator. Motivator. Easter is going to arrive whether you do these dresses or not. So that can motivate you to get going because you are going to want to be ready for Easter Sunday. And try and dress your kiddos yardage of fabric that was supposed to be their Easter dress, like just wrapping them up in the yards of fabric. Well, no one likes regret. It sucks. And for what reason? It can be a great motivator to get actions into motion. After all, there is no trying to make an Easter dress. There is either do or do not. There is no try. Is that by Yoda? I don't know. I'm not a Star Wars person. But you can spend the time wisely getting the dresses together since you're no longer looking at it as you should be sewing. You've reminded yourself of your why to do so. And also, what's at stake if you don't spend the time wisely? Because Easter arrives whether your dresses are done or not. So focusing on the doing. But don't mistake the doing for perfectionism. Personally, I don't think professionalism has any place in handmade items. I think it's unattainable once you get machines out of the picture. Like your computer, you can get an inch on your computer. You can't get an inch in real life. We're people. We're not machines. So don't let the idea of perfectionism get in the way of doing. Having a completed dress filled with flaws is a completed dress. You're showing up. You sewed your heart out. You gave it your all. And it doesn't matter what it looks like right now. It could be doing the most basic bodice dress. But if you want to do it, then do it. You did it. There's do or do not. There is no try. Now, there are some ways to maximize your sewing efficiency. And I go over those in this video here. I hope this was helpful. If y'all have any questions, please put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.